हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल In this video I will be speaking about a case uh, slightly myope and I am going to implant toric IL and how to align it. So it's a straightforward case. Grade 2 uh, cataract. Patient has uh, myopia and you can see a little bit of LIDR is there as the pupil expands. When the irrigation is in AC deepens and some fluctuations are seen while doing FACO emulsification. I am going to do primary chop using longitudinal FACO. So many of my colleagues ask uh, just uh, show a case where how to align the toric IL properly. Of course there are various complex situations as well like small pupil where you cannot see the marking dots. For those I have already made few videos and how to mark it preoperatively using iTory cap. In this case I am going to use the Callisto markerless system. So the quadrant removal is under process. If you can see the process of quadrant removal you can watch that I pick up all these pieces from the anterior edge so they tumble in in the center of the AC where I emulsify them. This reduces the chance of posterior capsular rupture. Those little bit of fluctuations are because of reduced scleral rigidity which is seen in myopes. As you can see here as I insert the eye probe the AC deepens showing lens iris diaphragm retropulsion. Cortex removal. The technique of cortex removal just pull the cortex little bit posteriorly that makes it safer. I am going to use 1% sodium hyaluronate which is a cohesive OVD for Torix I prefer this because the removal of cohesive OVD is easy and it's important to remove the OVD thoroughly particularly in the case of Torix IL to avoid any rotational movement of the IOL in the post operative period. So this one is a hydrophobic Torix IL you can see those three dots on either side and the blue line which you see is the Callisto system which is showing the alignment of the toric IL. So I'm going to rotate this IL so it lies around 30 degrees in the anti-clockwise. So I c it's easier to rotate these IL's in the clockwise manner because of the haptic positions than the anti-clockwise though it's possible it's easier to rotate them clockwise. So the removal of OVD from the posterior surface of the aisle very important so that's why I prefer cohesive OVD it comes off very quickly. Now this is the final alignment I am nudging the IOL holding at the optic haptic junction you can use the IA probe as well or Sinsky and dial it so that it lies at the final position nudge it little bit as you go closer and that's the satisfactory alignment along with the marks you can see those alignments marks which are there along the callisto lines so that's perfect alignment for me and that's end of the procedure I'm just going to hydrate the incisions and the case is over for more complex cases do subscribe to my youtube channel you can watch the playlist under Tori Kyle.